Welcome back guys! Here's Matt! It's about 11 in the morning, Tuesday morning. I've done so many things this morning. I woke up very early. I've been in Milano to run my privates. Then I came back. I had my breakfast. I done some editing on my computer. And now I'm driving to the gym to eat shoulders. We eat shoulders today because some people asked me to do a video to show what I do as complementary work with weights for shoulders. So this video will be dedicated to this topic. Consider that I train my shoulders pretty every day because uh, I do a lot of uh, skills work. So from handstand to and balancing variations. In my session, the first part of the work is uh, handstand and balancing, some handstand push-ups, uh, press to handstand, uh, handstand transition into QDR, from handstand to the croc, working with canes, with bars on the ground. My shoulders are constantly working. Usually, I don't train shoulder just with weights, but at the end of my unbalancing and stand st session, I, I work with weights. So for today, I do just the complementary work. If you want to have an idea of what I mean uh, when I talk about skills and uh, press to stand and canes and bars, you can check out the links uh, here or the links in the description. I have a couple of videos where you can see all this stuff. So now, let's talk about my complementary work with weights. We go straight to the weights room, to the rack. The main lift is the push press and military press. I start the session warming up the body, especially shoulders and hips. I like to work on two exercises in this case just to activate the muscle of the back a muscle that helps to stabilize the shoulder girdle and the, the muscle of the upper back in this case I want to work on the rear delt you can choose any kind of exercise of the rear delt so for today I use the machine I go two sets of 12-15 uh, reps pretty easy uh, and then I go on pull-ups just uh, two or three sets of uh, 8 to 10 pull-ups Okay, it is very very helpful when you hit your barbells or dumbbells uh, later and uh, you work on your overhead presses, any kind of overhead presses, but especially if you work uh, a standing position. Okay, now we move here at uh, the rack to work on the push press. This is the main lift to do for shoulders. I do push press and some military press at the end. So the main work is seven sets. First set, pretty light. I go for uh, three reps. Then increase the weight, go again three reps. Increase the, uh, the weight again on the third set. And I keep the weight for the set number 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so I forgot to say that you keep uh, about two minutes and half rest in between sets. Okay. 
on the last set I decrease the weight about 20% and I go as many reps as I can, military press. Done this, we move to a variation of the seated press. For this second exercise, every time, every workout, I change just a bit. So sometimes I work uh, at the Smith here, like today, pressing behind the neck the barbell. Sometimes I use the dumbbells, uh, keeping 90 degrees uh, between the forearm and uh, the, the shoulder. Or sometimes I go for the Arnold, the Arnold presses and uh, sometimes yeah also the the machine it depends today it's smith time and uh, we go for four sets of uh, eight to ten reps keeping my shoulder in back and very stable i try to go very deep in the movement if you have some trouble doing this you can definitely go 90 degrees here keeping the spine straight neck straight and just press 90 degrees okay so don't go here if you are not so comfortable in the in the position I like so much working on this variation because I feel when I go all the way down I feel a lot of work here on my lat so it's pretty good you can try maybe at the, at the beginning be sure to try with uh, not so much weight, try just the movement, no plates. Try to really feel the activation of uh, this muscle to stabilize the scap and the shoulder. So now we move uh, to dumbbells to do some side laterals and uh, front raises. We work with uh, pretty light weight to feel the, the contraction of the muscle. It's okay if you do 12-15 reps with control and maybe at the end just to reach a few more reps you can uh, use a little bit a little bit of momentum but then be sure to control the movement to do an eccentric uh, rep. When you perform this exercise, be sure to not to squeeze the dumbbell like that, but just hold the dumbbell with your fingers like that, so you can relax just a bit your uh, forearm and uh, your uh, bicep, and uh, so you can concentrate the tension on your shoulder. And the same is uh, for the front raises, okay? Hold with your fingers and uh, that's it feel the movement coming from here. I like to work on this variation of uh, front raises just because uh, working with the rope and holding the rope or the barbell or the bar with both hands sometimes you can't uh, feel that you are uh, pulling uh, with the same power with both shoulders so I like to isolate the movement working uh, with no connection in between the hands okay so that's why I I prefer the dumbbells. You can do also the same thing, but using the cables. So hold, you can hold one cable here, one cable here, and just pull all the way up. But no connection between one hand and the other one. Last exercise for shoulders 
today is uh, specifically for the rotator cuff and we go for um, two sets of uh, 12 to 15 reps. Okay guys, and you can see also my mom pushes, fuck, some push-up, come on, boom, nice, okay, so guys, after uh, shoulders, I like to eat biceps and triceps, just a couple of exercises each, and uh, we go for three sets each. Because uh, I work uh, when I work on arms, I like to dedicate uh, just one full session during the week uh, for arms. So now just you know a couple of exercises. Check out the full workout in the description here. And if you want to try the workout, try the workout, comment, rate, be sure to thumbs up the video if you like. And uh, also if you don't like, maybe thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. But before leaving, this is my post-workout. Chicken and rice noodles.